I'm, I'm very pleased that we today can invite two representatives of the industry. First, we'll listen to uh, Mr. Juan Rina, president of EXEL, Euro European Community Ship Owners Association. Please take the floor. Thank you very much, Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, EXA is very pleased to be invited to speak at this M7 in this impress Loyola de Palacio meeting hall. Really lovely meeting hall. Loyola, whom I had the, go the good fortune to know very well, was the former vice president and transport commissioner. As Mr. Ruete explained very well, she was involved in setting up this European Maritime Safety Agency from the very beginning. However, the shipping sector has changed a lot since EMSA was 2002-2003. And with the current global crisis, this sector has suffered its consequences directly. As you all know, the origin of EMSA happened after, after the Erika and Prestige accident is something that Mr. Callas and also Mr. Fechtenstein mentioned before. But these two events have been forgotten with everything that has been going on. We are, I am here on behalf of the shipping industry and uh, of the oil platform industry. That means that, we got the next one. Now I will now read a quote from the EU document issue when EMSA was created. The goal of, ex of EMSA was to provide technical and scientific assistance to the Commission and Member States on matters relating to proper enforcement of EU legis legislation on safety and pollution. This was clearly a priority for our industry. Moreover, it was felt that EMSA technical expertise who also contribute to decision-making measures in the EU and that laws should be made that would have add value to maritime safety. In the past, many decisions were taken for political reasons, without any technical basis. But with EMSA active, active role, this should now belong to the past. EMSA's technical expertise has become clear in the development of the third maritime, maritime safety package. On this slide, you can see the different measures that have recently been taken. This package has become the key pillar of the EU maritime safety policy. Over the year, EMSA was given additional tasks, and we can see here some of them. Oil pollution response, maritime surveillance, safe sea net, etc. There are too many to go into detail. Also, it is clear that EMSA's role is to bring added value to the industry. It is also working more closely with our board, with EXA board. We already met in Lisbon in, in, the in June 2007 to become more familiar with the EMSA board. For instance, we are working together and investigating in the possibility of using LNG as alternative fuel. I am sure that many of you here are aware of the problems created by the IMO decision of reducing the, s the sulfur content of marine fuels to 0.1% by 2015. This global agreement known as MARPOL Annex 6 was made without a proper impact assessment by the IMO. Many studies have been made by EU governments universities and other institutions about this subject. The results of these uh, studies conclude that after this, the 50% of transport has shifted from sea to road. While a solution to the ship to truck transport has to be found, EXA has been proactive in investigating a toolbox of solution to meet this IMO requirement. On this slide, we can see three solutions that have been proposed. And all of us, we are agreed that 2015 probably is 
Tousson don't want all this. At the joint EMSA EXA workshop that took place from 2009 to 2010, LNG was discussed once again as alternative fuel for shorty shipping. Here we can see in the, in the picture Mr. Witter representing EMSA, Mr. Guinea representing EXA. Fortunately, I don't know who is the other, other guy there, but <laughs> probably he was working very hard as well. <laughs> That's for later. <laughs> okay, the issues discussed at this workshop of LNG can be seen on the in this uh, slide. There are still many problems to be solved, such improvement of engines to avoid methane slip, installing more bunkering facilities, and providing safety rules for bunkering, etc., etc. EMSA and EXA are still working on all of these issues. And we hope that all this, the anomalies that exist today in applying EU directives will soon be solved. Now, I I'm going to talk a little about the Blue Belt project. The shipping industry is advocating to have an internal custom market for shipping services, because this is not the case today. Once a ship leaves the 12 mile zone, all the EU cargo is subject to non-EU custom procedure. Although there are procedures to overcome this problem, there are not real solutions. The Transport Council, Council decided to create the Blue Belt project so EMSA can monitor the ships using his safe CMEX. To this project, all information on the ships is sent by email to the custom office and the ports of destination. The target is to for customs to have a more confidence in our ships, in the EU ships. EXA is helping gather the 252 ships that are part of this Blue Belt project. EXA also hopes that this, this positive outcome of this pilot project will bring about the necessary change for the legislation. I will just give you a few example, examples of EMSA's practical work with our industry. But now I must point out that this EU agency is performing much better than one would have expected when it was set up. What is the question for the future? In any case, I want to stress again the need for global legislation on safety and environment through the IMO. Moving on, we will now talk about the climate change. This is one of the main topics of our agenda as well. The shipping industry produces two to four of global CO2, so shipping is actually a solution for reducing CO2 and should not be seen as a problem. An agreement was reached in July of this year, 2011, with IMO. It is estimated that the measures agreed on will reduce CO2 from 20% to 50% around the 2050. The industry has expressed a express, uh, preference for a comp compensation fund paid with a levy. What's important is that these measures are applied to all flats and not only for the European ones. And also, we need more impact assessment so as to avoid the sulfur problem that we discussed earlier. So far, I have touched on three things. First of them, the main subjects of the agenda. Second, the important role of EMSA. Third, the cooperation between our industry with agency. But the last point I want to, drop to draw your attention is a global problem, is the pirates. Hundreds of people, you know, are held in captivity, often for months in a horrible condition, uh, Often they are tortured. There is increasing violence and people have died. These criminal acts are also serious compromising the safety and security of the international trade. We, we consider that EMSA is an excellent instrument with its safety net, for instance, that can monitor and communicate with the naval forces with a very limited resources. And last, but not mean least, we would like to take this opportunity to say farewell to Mr. Ruiter, 
who created the European Maritime Safety Agency from scratch. EXA still remembers the early days in a small forgotten office in the center of Brussels. If we look at EMSA today and all of its activities, some of which I mentioned today, we can certainly say that we have came, come a long way. Willem, on behalf of the shipping industry, including international shipping organizations such as ICS, MINCO, Intertanko, ECC, and others that I may have overlooked. I want to congratulate you and thank you for the work done where you put in your heart into it. We all wish you the best for the future. Please help me in giving him a warm hand. And because exercise agree that all great men retire at the same time, we also want to say farewell to our chairman, Mr. Hammer Hansen, who after a brilliant career and head of the DMA and father of the Danish maritime policy, has chaired the EMSA board this past year. We also would like to thank him and wish him all the best and please another warm hand for him. Finally, we want to thank the whole EMSA team to their hard work and dedication. To the team, we don't say farewell, but look forward to their continuing to cooperate with EXA with our industry. I just been informed just before the conference that uh, Mr. Franz van Rompuy will be, will be appointed as new chairman of the board. We heard that that name before in the European <laughs> institutions, didn't we? Uh, but in any case, we congratulate you. <laughs> okay, and now to conclude, uh, as we see in this presentation, the EMSA war was very hard, and I'm sure that it will continue like this. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>